How do we overcome the feeling of hopelessness that we can ever truly change inside? Beautiful question. Well, the way you do that is firstly becoming aware of how your survival mind tends to control you when you're falling in this way. Ken, you are right now stuck in what's called a survival state. So what ends up happening when we're in a survival state is survival-based behaviors. So you've got to become very conscious of your unconscious self right now because you're out of control. And this is why any of you tuned in struggle with depression or anxiety, any of you, you will notice your behaviors are very predictable as well. Survival state. Such as if you look at somebody with depression, they tend to withdraw. Yes, those of you who have ever been depressed, you know you tend to withdraw from people, withdraw from things. And you'll not notice with anxiety, you tend to withdraw in the same way, similar way, sometimes just avoid, downright just avoid. And what's crazy, studies have shown the prime driver behind more depression is withdrawal. Isn't that crazy? And the fuel behind more anxiety is avoidance. So let's say, for example, you've got social anxiety, kind of like me in the past, and you're scared of you know, approaching people, speaking to people. So that's your fear. Let's say you follow that fear and you refuse to actually engage with others. So you're now avoiding them. Well, one day you're going to fall so low where your social life is totally inactive, thereby you have totally attracted the actual biggest fear you have, which is deep down, you're fearing loneliness and you have just made it happen because you allowed yourself to fall. Is this making sense? So, Ken, what you want to become aware of firstly is what have you been doing? How have you been reacting to hopelessness? And whatever you do, if it's been disempowering, do the opposite. If you've been hiding, show up. If you've been avoiding, go for it. And it sounds so simple, but I tell you what tends to change your life are very simplistic principles actioned upon. You know, what's commonly preached isn't commonly practiced. Tell me what I'm saying, by the way. So Ken, what you want to do is this. Observe what's happening right now. How have I been reacting? And what would my future self do in this moment? Because provided you begin to make those new empowering choices, those decisions, you're taking yourself out of that place when you've fallen. And before long, you begin to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But the reality is, Ken, this is a recurring thought you have in your mind right now. As in you believe you're hopeless and you believe you can't change inside, whatever it may be. So you want to make sure you make new decisions right now. Because that's how you change beliefs. Beliefs are decisions. So make sure you're not repeating decisions today. That's going to further aggravate this belief because otherwise you're just going to continue falling. Yes?